what's up guys and welcome back to the channel we're gonna be running another solo Saturday video and it's time to take on the nightfall once again this week it's the undying mind on the uh, planet Mars and we'll be going back to the black garden and try to take this machine god down problem with this strike this has got to be the most difficult nightfall I've tried so far on this channel the perks and the modifiers that we're running this week were uh, the important ones you need to know about we got void burn and we have the specialist perk so I went into this strike thinking, hey, I'm going to use my Telesto or I'm going to use a Void Sniper for the whole part of this raid, um, raid, for the whole part of this strike, and things are just going to go my way. It's not going to be that bad. I was right about that. Those two weapons did a massive amount of damage, and they are definitely my go-to weapons the entire strike. What I was not ready for was the amount of Void damage that some of these enemies were doing to me. So as we go through, I'll explain it in a little bit more detail. So first up, as you saw, ran up these uh, first stairs and uh, entering into this massive area. And I got to take this blight down that we already did and, the, and on all the thrall. After killing a couple of enemies, you're going to have to take down three more blights that are scattered around this entire area. And I will show you where all three of them are. I'm going to do this nightfall run a little differently as opposed to showing you my entire gameplay. I'm going to kind of just skip through to the important parts and show you how to complete each area. You'll see why I do this as we get into this video. So the first blight is right off to your left and it's going to spawn uh, behind the wall and there's a couple of acolytes that spawn in with it. Luckily these guys do not do void damage so you've got a little break from dodging everything that you can at this point. One shot with the Telesto, this blight comes down and you only have two more left. After you take the Acolytes out in this area, if you stay over to this left side where you are and look all the way in the back area, the back left corner of this map or this giant area that you're in, you'll see a second Blight back there. Now it's time to pull that Sniper out or if you got a Scout Rifle you can take that out after a couple of rounds, but that's going to be the second Blight. Once you take this second Blight down, you're going to get a little surprise of a whole bunch of those taken minotaurs that will spawn in. Now again, they don't do devoid damage, they have the solar guns or the solar you know, hammer throw, whatever they shoot at you, those giant solar rockets. Um, the problem with that is though, they are somewhat invisible. You know, they have that little cloaking device where you can't really see them until you're right on top of you, but there are four of them, so you want to make sure you take them out. I like to stay in this area where I am. And um, at the time I was using my Titan and using the Titan bubble, using that for protection, and then just taking them out either with the Telesto or whatever I could using my heavy, anything with void damage to take them down. So moving right along, third and final blight, you need to head all the way to the right side of the map, staying along the wall. And the blight is in the little like alcove cave area down the stairs and down to the right. A couple of things to focus on and be careful of. There is a taken centurion, a, level, level, a yellow level centurion down at the bottom there. And he shoots those little axion bolts at you. And yes, they are void. And yes, they will one shot you. So those are fun. Second thing you gotta watch out for, there are taken uh, hobgoblins down there, and they are the ones with the snipers. And yes, before you ask, they do void damage as well. If you have any damage on your character and you're carrying not a full health, those void gob hobgoblins will take you down. But if you're able to take that void, or if you're able to take that blight down, that will clear out all of the enemies. You'll be able to make your way towards the far end of this area. A couple of scions will spawn in, one more centurion, and then you're able to head on to the next area. And I think you'll find it a little easier than what you had to just do with taking out all those blights and taking out the other enemies. You don't have to get overrun as much. So as you make your way up the ramp, you're going to see a couple of vex right in front of you, but there are some minotaurs you know, in the distance. You want to take them out. Of course, they do void damage two shots from them and you're done. If you have any damage and they one shot, they will one shot you. Good thing to know. As you take them out, you're going to have to make your way up the long staircase and then you get into this one area um, where you try to walk up this large ramp and usually in this spot you get overrun by a ton of yellow health level uh, vex. Luckily in this version of the strike, I'm taking on the Taken so I don't have to worry about them. Now what will spawn all the way up at the top of the ramp as you can see are three wizards. This is a perfect time to get that sniper out so you can take those three wizards out real quick. They, you don't give them a chance to run off to the further parts of the map. 
Uh, also, they will be spawning those like t dark taken thrall that just like black shadow. And with three of those wizards doing this, you can get overrun real quickly. Now there will be a couple other enemies that spawn in, but if you take those wizards down quick, it's just a long path to the next and final room right before you get to the final boss. So once you get into this room, you're greeted by an army of minotaurs. Yes, once again, the stupid void shooting minotaurs that if you get hit two times, you're done. And with a bunch of them shooting at you, it's bound to happen. I will tell you, I did not make it through here on my first try, not even my second try. It took me a couple of attempts, but eventually I did get through. You just want to take your time, keep your distance, use either that Telesto or use that sniper rifle, and take them out one at a time. Don't get too close, they will sneak up on you, there's a couple of paths around, and as soon as you get these done, you're able to make it into the final boss area. And this is when things start to really get exciting. So as you first jump into this area, you'll see a Vex portal or a Vex gate all the way on the far side of the room. And there's just going to be Vex after Vex after Vex after Vex that keep pouring through here. There are, I don't know how many come through. Probably close to 10 to 15 of these Vex come through. If you've got a void weapon, this is the time to use it. Telesto is great because you've got that, uh, you know, it shoots the little exploding balls or whatever you want to call them. Uh, it takes them out pretty quickly. And, you, know, you know you've reached the last wave of enemies when the two minotaurs come out. Yes, once again we are faced with some void shooting minotaurs. So take them out and then make sure you try to pick up all the ammo that just dropped because with that juggler perk ammo is hard to find at this part of the boss. The boss is starting to form as well, so make sure you pick that animal uh, ammo up and get out of there. I like to hang out on the left side behind this little uh, block or this little walkway up top. I like to stay behind there in this little alley. Uh, it gives me a little protection, uh, plenty of places to hide from the boss, and there's only two points of entry where enemies can come at me. So I thought, hey, this is a good spot. I should be okay. So moving right along, what's going to happen, as soon as the boss comes in, a whole bunch of enemies are going to form as well. Now as you can see, I'm actually on the right side and avoiding what I just suggested doing. I'll tell you why, I got overrun in there too many times too quickly, so I needed to stay off to the right side and take advantage of the open area, plenty of places to hide, plenty of places to move around. Now the reason that this is a pain in the ass is because you've got two forms of Vex coming at you. One, you just got those regular goblin vex, whatever they're called. Um, they have a solar damage on them. Problem with that, if they get too close, their melee attack is, of course, void. On top of that, you also have the hobgoblins. Now, these hobgoblins are special. They don't have the typical snipers that the regular hobgoblins carry. They are actually carrying the same guns that the Minotaur have. So, they're shooting those massive void explosion balls or whatever it is at you and that does void damage so they will kill you just as quickly as the minotaurs can and on top of that if they decide to throw a grenade at you you guessed it yes it's a void grenade once again so after you take out a couple of these enemies you can make your way back over to the left side where you can take cover you just want to make sure you take out those uh, hobgoblins before you really worry about the other vex just because the hobgoblins do all the void damage so that's the first wave. Once you clear them out, it's time to do damage on the boss. Again, not easy. This boss, I thought it did solar damage, but a couple of times I was killed by this boss, it told me it was some sort of void damage. So stay away from any kind of damage that this boss does on you. I was trying to use a rocket launcher, use my grenades, try to get any kind of damage on him from a safe distance. What's going to happen? After a few rounds of damage to the boss and get his health down to a certain point, another round of enemies come in. So when the second round of enemies comes in, this one, this round's not as bad, there's no void damage dealing enemies besides when they throw the grenades at you or if they get too close their melee attack is void. So take them out from a distance, as you see, using my titan once again, using that bubble for protection, making sure anything that comes near me I get them out, kill them quickly, and then take the other enemies down as quickly as possible. So then, once again, kill the enemies, time to attack the boss. Kill the boss, not kill the boss, but take some, take some of the boss's health down, and time to trigger in yet a third wave of enemies. Now this time you're hit with a whole bunch of yellow bar 
uh, Vex. Now these again, they're very similar to the previous round. They're just um, the Hobgoblins and the regular Goblin Vex, none of them doing any void damage besides their melee and any grenades they throw at you. The problem is it just takes a little bit more to take these guys out due to their higher levels. So you take them out, try to pick up ammo, stay away from the boss, don't get hit, running around all hectic, all crazy, and finally you take them all out and once again, time to do damage to the boss. Seems like I am really repeating myself here, but this is what you gotta do. Again, do damage to the boss. A new wave of enemies comes in. This time you're greeted with four minotaurs and a whole bunch of other vex. I hate these minotaurs. I hate them so much. <laughs> the stupid void damage that they do, it just destroys you. If you can, take them out quickly using a telesto, using a sniper. I'll tell you right now, this round killed me multiple times. I did eventually though make it past here. So once again, take these enemies down, do more damage to the boss. And now we're gonna reach the round that caused me to quit. That's right, I did not finish this strike, I just quit. So in this round, there's a whole bunch more of those yellow bar vex that come in. The problem now is they also throw in some yellow bar minotaurs. And I just could not kill them fast enough before they came up on top of me. You know, I did enough damage, the problem was they would get close to me and then I'd get overrun and get hit with the melee and it took me out every time. So after probably about two hours at this part of the encounter, I just turned off the PlayStation. I couldn't do any more, I quit, and I was disappointed. <laughs> I was thinking about getting this video out, I knew it wasn't going to happen, and I didn't know what to do, I just wasn't getting this done. So that was all I had. So first off, I'll say sorry, I was not able to complete this strike. You know, if you were, if you were able to do this solo, man, congratulations. Let me know in the comment section below, did you use the strategy I was talking about? Did you go somewhere else? I'm not sure if there's a cheese out there for this, but as you know, I try to do all of these videos without doing any sort of cheesing or any sort of cheating or like that. So I was trying to do this legit and be in, you know, in the line of fire for everything. I will tell you, I tried again the next day same outcome probably spent about two and a half hours trying to complete this strike and same outcome got to the exact same area got to the same point in that boss battle and i just kept dying so just wasn't meant to be this week guys just wasn't meant to be but so if you want to use some of the strategies i gave you in this video hopefully it will help you out let me know in the comments below if you use this if you tried something else that worked better it was just the massive amounts of enemies that did so much void damage to you. It was You had to be flawless. You couldn't make any mistakes. You had to know exactly where the enemies were coming from, take them out so quickly. There was just no room for error in this week's strike. But I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like. I know it's a disappointment. I didn't complete it, but you know, there's always next week. We can try again. Try a different Nightfall strike. Maybe it'll be a little bit easier than uh, this one, but this one was tough, guys. This one was tough. So... Like I said, hit that like button if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all my solo Saturday videos, and we're less than a month away from Rise of Iron, guys, so expect to see lots of Rise of Iron videos coming out in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.